Welcome back to another Habs Nation video with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchie. The Canadians' decision on David Reinbacher. Interesting interview of Bobrov during the weekend about how they took Reinbacher over other prospects and what are their process to get their final decision. A year ago at this time, that moment seemed impossible. Reinbacher was not on the Canadians' radar. He wasn't on anybody's radar, really, which is unusual. The process Bobrov described of going over next year's names would not have included Reinbacher's name a week after the 2022 draft. Well, his first emergence was at the World Junior in Edmonton, which was after Hlinka. So it was in August. So that was his first big stage emergence. And then from September on, guys were watching him both live and on video, and he kept climbing. The bells were ringing early in the season on this player. Every European scout the Canadians employ Rockstrom, Lane, Lehman, and Krupa, then Lapointe and Bobrov. American scouts Ryan and O'Connell saw him play multiple times. The general sentiment from the fan base is that the Canadians have not had a game-breaking offensive talent in decades. So how could they pass on taking a forward in a forward-rich draft? Bobrov said, I would say we have players right now on the team who are developing every month, every year, whether that's Nick Suzuki, Cole Caulfield, Kirby Doc with Alex Newhook coming, and he can score goals slaff. So we feel we have scoring that's going to rise with the rise of these still very, very young players. So there is an upward trend there in scoring ability, he responded. So I would push back against the notion that we have no scoring. We have very young players who always scored, and they're getting better every month. And then... You know, how many 40-goal scorers did Vegas have this year? You start looking at the playoffs, right? The playoffs. Then he adds, once you look at that, some things become a little bit clearer. And so we try to remind ourselves of that every time, every year, every cycle, and not get caught up in, you know, shiny objects. And it's clear Bobrov and the Canadians don't consider shiny objects to be a path to a Stanley Cup. They might be wrong, but that's what they think. But what Bobrov wanted to make clear is that determination comes after an exhaustive process, multiple opinions from multiple people to make sure blind spots are eliminated to the best of their ability. We battle, we try to see every angle, we try to stress test it versus other players as well, trying to talk ourselves into other players as well, and it happens with each player. So say there's a set of three players, we're trying to convince ourselves that each one of them is our guy and then stress test what could go wrong, what the downside might be with each player, and not just David. The process is the same, whether it's a first-round pick or sixth-round pick. There's still a group of three guys that we're trying to convince ourselves and convince ourselves to take somebody else at the same time, and then you end up going back to player A or player B. Through that process, we realize where the majority of the passion is living. Because if there's no passion that we can feel about a player from the room, from different parts of the staff, whether it's the coaches, because everybody is watching these kids, we involve everyone. So sometimes there's a lot of passion. Sometimes the passion disappears quickly and you kind of feel it. Therefore, that passion was felt about Reinbacher despite their own attempts to convince themselves of other options. Analytics is something the Canadians lean on heavily in their draft process. Director of Hockey Analytics Boucher and his department have a seat at the decision-making table, and his thoughts are respected and considered. Bobrov has always had an analytical bent to his process. David's numbers are extremely high in several categories. Obviously, his play kills his breakouts. I don't think any analytics expert would dispute where he comes out extremely high on some of the player comparisons from the past. We had similar numbers on some of the biggest names on defense that we've seen. So from that perspective, he's right up there with some of the biggest names. So we felt very comfortable with that. We felt with David, he's the type of AD who can play with anyone. He kind of does everything right in terms of positioning, in terms of his stick, defense, passing, putting pucks on tape, support, coverage, reads, both offensive and defensive. The one thing most of the public discourse about Reinbacher kept bringing up as a drawback was a lack of offensive upside in his game. His coach in Cloton, Jeff Tomlinson, feels those concerns are somewhat unfounded. I don't think he's going to do it with the flair that maybe some people like. I think he's going to do it with his simple passes. I think he's going to be kind of the guy that's just going to keep it simple and create offense that way. He'll move up the ice. He'll want to lead the rush or help the rushes. And I do think he's got some upside in every part of his game because this is all new for him and he's made a big step. And I think we expect him to take even more. 
Bobrov and the Canadians clearly agree, and that is at the core why they drafted Reinbacher and why they drafted Slavkovsky last season as well. It was a growth play. They believe Slavkovsky has so much to add to his game that will make him successful in the NHL, and that his profile as a big, skilled forward was a rare commodity. Reinbacher, as a right-shot defenseman, a premium position, is no different. They see growth potential in him, and they believe the development infrastructure they have put in place will get that potential out of both of them. Players add to their game, but if you were to say, yes, offense comes from a good first pass, pass on tape, good players would want to play with a D that gets them the puck and places it well. David has all of that in spades. I don't know if they made the right decision here. What I do know is that I am not well equipped to make that determination right now. No one else is either. But Reinbacher at least deserves a chance to prove the Canadians right or wrong. Thank you to watching another Habs Nation video. But before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the channel, and finally let us a comment about this video. And remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wishes you an amazing, great, and blessing day.